What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Nike wants to put pause on royalty on... I don't know, girl. Let's get into it. <laughs> His voice. Nike is beyond upset at the royalty and Jalea tried to come at her daughter Kamari for the second time. Supposedly royalty is upset because Daya came home and told her that Kamari gave her toilet water to drink. So during the recent pickup with the twins get exchanged, royalty and Jalea tried to confront Kamari what and it got so bad to the point that allegedly CJ had to pull out his weapon to protect his daughter Kamari. This is royalty's recording. Royalty, give that man them children? What the fuck wrong with her? I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was taking up for Royalty a lot in the beginning because, you know, CJ is just an asshole. However, stop talking to me on these meetups, gang. Give me my children. Y'all are at the police department for Pete's sake. Wait a minute. Close the coke here. Angelia, what are you doing? Why is why why does royalty keep putting Jalea in a situation where that little girl gonna get touched? And I mean in a in a physical manner to where he gotta get her out the way. I don't understand that. Like she is a child. What are we doing? What the I, I got a fork because I'm trying to scratch. My back. I can't. I can't. Shut your leg up. You gonna air what up? You gonna air what up? I don't see nothing. You gonna air what? I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. What's up? This is ridiculous. What's up? And then Jalea talking about nigga shoot me. Are you serious? He just saying. <laughs> so if you hit my dog, I'm knock your ass the fuck out. I can't hear what he's saying. I don't see nothing. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I think he's saying his daughter knocked Jalea the fuck out. By the way, this is at the police station. This is miserable. Like, and then after the pickup, CJ tried to record this, but according to Royalty, he tried to switch up the story real quick before she could say anything. Who made you drink toilet water? Your mom made you drink toilet water? Yeah. Oh my God, bro. Not, but daddy don't CJ what? Mommy don't pick you. Go and be good at mommy's house. Damn, why she make you drink toilet water? So when you was bad, she made you drink toilet water? Yeah. Wow. This some sad ass shit to see right here. Cause first of all, CJ, you know damn well Royalty ain't let that baby drink no toilet water. But also Royalty, you know damn well Kamari ain't give that baby no toilet water, bro. And the fact that this is about toilet water is beyond me. Don't nobody have a black eye. They don't have marks on them, at least from what they saying. Nobody saying that they do. So what the fuck? Yo, it ain't that much misery in the world. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I 
What? Oh, bro. What the freak? Both of them dead ass wrong. And he killed me with that what the freak shit. Oh, that nigga. Man. What the freak? Royalty post. LOL, after I just confronted you at the drop off, that dad came home last week and said that Kamari <sighs> gave her toilet water to drink. You want to switch up the story. Glad I recorded with your lying ass. Still pulling guts out on three women? Come clear us out then. Jalea Royalty's daughter also responded. She said, Crazy how niggas like to switch up the story and like the internet talk, but don't want to back up with these. Look, girl, why are you talking? <laughs> what? Say, said his daughter could beat my ass. Told the to get out the car and come get this work. Sat there not saying a fucking peep, but I'm scary now. Like, y'all, Kamari is like what 12? Jalea is almost seven, if not almost 18. See, what Jalea don't realize is you're gonna go to jail because <laughs> you're gonna be fighting a little girl, <laughs> you're gonna be fighting a minor, and by that time, you'll be grown, honey. Her ass gonna go to jail and she's gonna be. Mad as hell. You know, CJ and Royalty won't go to jail. But that damn Jaleel fuck around and go to jail. <laughs> then it's going to be like, all right, we, we doing too much. I uh, hope. Uh, I don't know what too much is for these niggas. I think he responded because she's upset that CJ had to go as far as pulling out his weapon to protect his daughter. She said, baby, oh my kids, y'all know what's next. Nike's baby mama also took to social media as well. She said, guess I got to get this bomb money ready for baby mama because this asking for it i'm never in my life seeing no bitter miserable shit like this but one thing for sure two things for certain we don't play about our kids like who in their right mind would start some shit at the police station and then play victim but hey yo you asked for it so you know what's next i can't even control baby mama i wish the was smart enough to have saved while in the relationship because i swear we'll be filing for paperwork for baby mama to sue her for defamation of character when it comes to a child. But this I can't is ridiculous. Got shit. Jessica did speak out after being this accused of stealing Sierra's man, Runic. Okay. All of this shit is ridiculous. No, they ain't thinking about the kids. Yesterday, I went to Universal with a group of people. Okay. And somebody was there. Okay. That has nothing to do with me. But of course, I'm the one that gets all like, I'm the one that gets like called out for something because, you know, I mean, um, like I said, I am a 20 year old girl. Okay. I am not about to date somebody. How can I say this? I don't. And, and and they term she not about to date that old man. Old man would be runic and he only twenty six. Uh, y'all are funny, hilarious. <laughs> I don't want nobody? Let's just put it like that. Okay, girl, be quiet. That's my sister. Um, I don't want nobody. She don't I need promise. to date nobody. After I shit. sincerely do. I don't. Um, I was at and it wasn't Disney World. I don't know where the hell. Every time I look at her, I just think about twenty four hours. She drove 24 hours to get back home after that boy put her out. Can y'all imagine what you could think about on a 24-hour drive? Any of y'all ever took a 24-hour drive? Unbeknownst to you getting kicked out, though. Like, you ain't no use about to get kicked out type shit. Disney World came from, but Disney Got World... Got kicked out and had to drive. I ain't driving 24 hours for nobody. <laughs> it's not Universal, okay? Universal and Disney is not connected. Am, am I right? Is Universal Disney? No. Two different things. Two different things. So, yesterday... She just wanted to bring up Disney. <laughs> she wanted her son to go. <laughs> but listen, that has nothing to do with me, okay? I am my own person. I was with a whole, a whole group of people. And I'm the one that gets picked up. Like, like I said, I'm not going to speak too much on it. But I was with a whole bunch of people. And a certain somebody was there. And I don't know, like, what they have going on. And so this is me at Universal having fun yesterday. And this is that. Okay? So that's all I'm saying. I don't want nobody right now. Never. Or that person I don't. What? Especially someone with two kids. That's baggage. That's drama. No one wants a man with two kids. That's 26. You're Damn. <laughs> Damn. He spoke highly of y'all.
You're, you're 21, about to be 21. Yes. Why do you want that chaos in your life? I don't want like, that. Damn. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, um, it's like people like see me. That was rude as fuck. <laughs> hanging oh, out with a whole gr- bunch of group of people and then just together. like blew it up into something like. You, you went to Universal with this person, but you can't even take your kids. And, 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 and I'm like, I have nothing to do with this. Stop. Okay, whatever y'all got going on, leave me. Oh, like I literally, we it was a whole group of people. It wasn't just me and whatchamacallit, okay? Like, stop. Like, I don't like the drama. I'm literally living my life, okay? I'm sitting in my apartment healing. So leave me out of it. Leave me out of it. <sighs> Please. I'm sorry. Some of you guys don't know what's going on, but it's like, if oh, you know, shit. you know, because I'm not naming no names. Like, I'm not, no, okay? Damn, she had 10K people in there. Yeah, she definitely don't need to date Runic. <laughs> I don't want anybody Okay. I okay, know. I got it. I I don't want to keep. Okay, what's next? She done said that a hundred times. Bro, I didn't mean no shit like that, man. And tell her, man, I fucked this up for Runic, man. Runic really was excited about meeting her, and you know, I don't know they was going on a date or what. I don't know, man, but I fucked it up, bro. Y'all go tell Jessica the prank star. Apologize, I was drunk, and I said, man, said some shit I shouldn't have said, man. So. Please, y'all go fix that shit for me. <laughs> I admit, I got. Mike said, "Fix it for me, baby." Wrong, and I said the wrong shit. And now, me and Rona ain't seeing eye to eye right now, bro. Kaisen in response to Kanye West calling him an industry plant. Hey, <laughs> yay! I've been doing this shit since 2018, gang. Uh, hello. Facebook, me, Bronx, funny skits. Been doing this shit, yay. You feel me? All because. A lot of people, all because a lot. Man, fuck that. The pants ain't fit. My, I think, why is the pants didn't fit, uh, Kanye. The pants just didn't fit. Arguing, bro. Man, what the fuck? Bro, yeah, just send me some new pants, bro. Bro, just send me, bro, all of this because the pants ain't fit. Kanye, the pants Nigga, didn't fit. Nigga, just sit standing with the cannon. The pants didn't fit, Kanye. God damn. He got to be an industry plant because he don't like the pants. Well, now nah, because he ain't like the pants, he ain't a problem with the pants. They can't fit. Kanye, please. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, just send me some new pants, bro. Like, no cap. We don't even got to be do- like, you feel me, bro? I'm, as- I'm far from an industry. Kaisen is also taking precaution when it comes to women visiting him. Right there. Oh. <laughs> you take this? Okay. Yeah. Babe, what do you have back there? It's just, my ass. It's just protocols. Is there anything back there? My ass. Wait, hold on. Hold on. We gotta take some of this stuff out Finger here. Fingerprints. 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 Yo, I actually oh, see boy. why now, why men be taking these women phones. Especially, like, if you're Kai. I absolutely, completely understand now why they take their phones. I would never say nothing about that ever again. <laughs> right, we need to check your vitals. My vitals? Yeah. Vitals is great. We, we need all that. We need all that. Not the police. Check it, please. Yeah. Are you for real, bro? Oh. Ma'am, we're going to need to get your temperature. Thank you. It's just one call. Got to make sure everybody's safe. What is it, COVID-19? No, we just to make sure it cuts. Eyes. Yep, so can you follow my finger, please? Eyes. Yep, so can you follow my finger, please? Can you check it out my mouth? Please put that back in your mouth because I was going to be high. Okay. That's me. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Okay, just ready to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Yo. 
Oh. I don't blame him. It's just protocols. I'm sorry. Protocols. Yeah. Oh, what is it? Hi. Um, Yo, this is getting real tight. I asked the question, okay? Uh, what's your name? Jessica. That's a lie. What's your uh, real name? Madeline Alyssa Delarosa Cosentino. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate what? It. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, that'll be it. Oh. Um, Y'all, it's them using the damn cord, <laughs> the extension cord. Okay. Now, I just need to do one more thing. Oh, no, I can't do this. No yes, more. you can. I'm really just going to take a look at my Hey, no, wait. It's the NDA. Please sign here, please. There. There, too. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And, uh. <laughs> Oh, God. Hi, who am I here with today? Girl, fuck around. Women so bad these days, they go in the bathroom, fuck they self up and shit, take pictures and wake up Kyle talking about he beat me and shit. I don't blame him. Hey, you know why we here, right? Give Kyle water. Yeah, all right. You know water? Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a nice day. Remember, stay in Maple. <laughs> Yo, <clears throat> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I don't blame them. All right. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.